at all? Uh, me and Hobbs during my bullpen today, we talked a little bit, and uh, they're a little more lefty heavy than righty hefty. Um, so I'm used to that after the teams we've been facing the SEC. There's a lot more lefty hitters this year, um, so I'll be ready for the challenge. It's going to be a good game. Isaiah, they're a very patient team at the plate, six in the NCAA and walks. They're not going to swing at garbage, just the discipline you're going to have to have on the mound. Yeah, I mean, it just, I mean, it just means I'm going to have to throw strikes, um, just compete. Um, obviously, if you get two strikes, teams are going to start chasing a little bit because they have to, but it just means I have to get ahead in the count and not give them free passes. How much more prepared do you feel to pitch in the College World Series after all the success you've had compared to last year? No, I feel the same. Um, same mindset going into last year's College World Series. Um, just a difference this year. Just last year I threw game three, this year we're throwing game one. Did you, did you, I mean, did you feel more prepared? Though? Not at all. I feel prepared just like it was last year. You had a really good start there, the first one. You're just taking some of that and then knowing how you can pitch there. How, how much do you go back to that? Yeah, I mean, when you get a year of experience in the College World Series, it helps a lot. Um, you know what the atmosphere is like, you know what the mound feels like, you know, just how to keep calm and keep your composure out there. So uh, it kind of gives you a uh, one step up on the other team. Um, so if I, just for me, I just got to keep going out there and competing and doing what I've been doing all year. When you you pick, look, go ahead. If you could pick one thing that you've improved since this time last year, you did pitch well there, but anything clicked this year that's taken you to another level and making you a little better? Uh, just my mentality. I'm taking one pitch at a time. Not thinking about the past or the future, um, and just going wandering into ball games this year. It's a big difference. Just the overall experience of this team that you have coming back. How much will that help from the guys that played a key role last year? Well, so. Yeah, it'll play a big role. Um, just like I said, you get a, you get the experience, so you know what the atmosphere is like and stuff. So you know, we can kind of tell the younger guys don't make this uh, scene bigger than it is. It's just another game, just in a in front of ten more thousand fans. Um, so don't make the scene too big and. Just go out there and let's play Arkansas baseball. That's all we have to do. With, with Wickland or Nolan who struggled here, um, how do you kind of share your wisdom with them and, and try to make sure that they get off to a good start when, they, when it's their time? You know? Yeah, I mean, I was in their shoes last year. I had a bad start in a, the regional. Um, so I've been in their shoes, and that's why I just got to tell them, hey, I was in your shoes last year. Get rid of the uh, game, but in the past, um, we're going to need you in Omaha. We want to win this thing. We need two really good starts out of you guys, so don't – just go out there and do what you've been doing all year and just compete. With losing, with losing two, two starting pitchers and you know, most of the lineup from last year, I mean, just how, what do you think about the fact that you guys are going back to Omaha and, and look like, you know, about, about as good as last year's team? Yeah, I mean, um, in the fall, we didn't really know um, what this team would do at the end of the year. Um, we knew we had some talent, but we had a lot of younger guys and inexperienced guys who, like Coach Van Horn said, they weren't here when we were going to Omaha last year. Um, so we knew we had the talent, but we just we didn't know what we'd get. And we've had a lot of guys step up this year, both in the field and on the pitching staff. And um, so once I, we started playing a couple games, a couple weekends, I knew we had the chance to get to Omaha. We just had to keep playing and just keep getting better as a team and um, just keep getting the camaraderie up and stuff. Arkansas is the closest school to the College World Series, and you saw a lot of people went last year, probably even more this year. I want to know from the player's perspective, are you able to tell how many – Hog fans are in town and in that ballpark, or are you just so focused? Oh, yeah, I mean, you can tell. Um, you go out to eat, you go out, you're just walking around Omaha, and you see Arkansas red, Arkansas fans everywhere. Um, so you know they're there, and then when you're at the field, you kind of just look around, and you see a bunch of Arkansas red. So you can definitely tell they're there, and you can hear them, too. They're, they're loud. They're, they were loud last year, and I expect them to be really loud this year again. I know DBH was loose last year with you guys. It seems like he may even be more loose this year. I mean, just um, – what you've seen from him and how he's kind of managed you guys this season? Yeah, I think he's definitely a lot looser this year than he was last year at this time. Um, and I think it just, it's really helped this team. We've been able to play how we want to play baseball this year. And I think he's kind of saw how we do it. And I think he kind of likes it this year. We have a little chip on our shoulder, a little attitude this year. And I think he likes that a lot. So we've just kind of been feeding off that. And we've just been doing, um, we've been kind of acting a little different in the dugout, not like in a bad way, just a little more energy. I mean, we have, CJ in there and he's always going crazy <laughs> doing weird stuff and so we just have a different uh, energy in the dugout and on the field so I think it's helped this team a lot. Have any of those younger guys asked you what, what Omaha's like and just asked you for advice? Uh, not yet. Um, 
I don't think it will really set in and sink with them until we get there. I mean, that's how it was for me last year. I didn't really think about it. And then once we stepped foot in T Ameritrade last year for the first time, I was like, wow, we're actually here. Um, so I think that's the first time they'll start asking questions and just they'll see the experience and the atmosphere and stuff. Redemption, I mean, how big is that for you guys, you know, knowing how close you were last year? Yeah, I mean, I think we have unfinished business up there, being so close to winning a national championship last year. Um, but it starts with Florida State on Saturday night. Um, prime time game and just take it one pitch at a time, one A-B at a time, and we'll go from there after game one. You look at the guys behind you, I mean, you know, Kirstad and mm -hmm. Martin are back, but they're in different spots. Dom's the only guy who's in the same spot as last year. I mean, it, it seems kind of unbelievable that you guys can play this well when you had to fill so many holes, you know. It just yeah. shows you uh, the talent that we had that wasn't here last year. Um, they went to summer ball last year. Some of these guys got better, got stronger. Um, came in here, had a chip on their shoulder, wanted to prove something, and they did that, and they've been doing it all year. I mean, Jacob Nesbitt, third baseman, he's like, he was uh, up in North Dakota right now when we were here, and now he's been an everyday third baseman. He's making plays out there, and he's getting big time hits. Um, so, it's just guys stepping up um, and doing, and then they just gotta keep doing all what they've been doing all year. When you look